My patients frequently raise concerns about potential side effects of statins and often reference scare stories they've read online. The feeling is echoed by many of our viewers here on YouTube. As an actively practicing primary care doctor in the UK, I regularly prescribe and review patients on statins. Statins are one of the medications we can use to lower cholesterol levels and reduce the risk of heart attacks and strokes. When I issue a prescription for statins, there are specific side effects that I'm particularly worried about. Today, we'll talk about these side effects and why I believe all patients should be aware of them. So what are the side effects I warn my patients about? The first one is a biggie, muscle aches. Muscle aches are a common side effect of statins, affecting around 1 in 20 patients on this medication. The severity of this can vary vastly between patients and for some can impact their day-to-day -day lives. Very rarely, around 1 in every 70,000 patients taking statins, a more concerning condition known as rhabdomyolysis can occur. Unfortunately, this also presents as severe muscle pain. Rhabdomyolysis, also known as rhabdo, is a serious medical condition that can lead to permanent disability or even death. In rhabdomyolysis, statins cause the breakdown of muscle tissue and the release of muscle proteins and electrolytes into the bloodstream. These substances can go on to harm your heart and your kidneys, resulting in severe and sometimes irreversible damage. For this reason, I advise my patients who experience muscle aches to stop the medication temporarily. It's essential to rule out rhabdomyolysis by organising a blood test to check for evidence of kidney injury and muscle breakdown products. And we do this before restarting the statin or considering an alternative. The second is liver injury. Statins can sometimes increase your liver enzymes, which can indicate inflammation. In most cases, the increase is mild and you can continue taking your medication. However, if the increase is severe, it may be necessary to stop the medication and switch to a different statin. In its most severe form, statin-induced liver injury can be dangerous, so patients must be vigilant to look out for any potential signs. I tell my patients to report any unusual fatigue or weakness, loss of appetite, pain in their tummy, dark coloured urine or yellowing of their skin or their eyes. To monitor for liver injury, your doctor should perform two blood tests, one just before and one 12 weeks after starting the statin and compare the results. Finally, statins can also cause an increased risk of diabetes. Taking statins could potentially cause an increase in your blood glucose levels, also known as your blood sugar levels. We believe that this increase could lead to the development of type 2 diabetes you're more likely to experience an increase in your blood sugar levels if you're someone who already runs higher than average. So if you have pre-diabetes, this increase in your blood sugar level may mean that you develop diabetes slightly earlier. So these are the statin side effects I worry about most in my patients. Of course, statins are associated with many more and we have produced several videos on specific statins, their interaction with grapefruit and the potential benefits of taking coenzyme Q10 alongside these medications. So if you want to learn more, I'll link these videos below in the description. Most importantly, if you think you may have experienced side effects to your statin medication, speak to your doctor as a matter of urgency.